What on earth should men be eating to boost testosterone levels as high as possible naturally through their diet? Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is actually outline 12 key foods that have been shown to support testosterone production and or help with testosterone signaling. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. Please do me a favor and like this video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So what makes the ideal testosterone boosting food? Well, number one, it must contain highly bioavailable nutrients. So that means vitamins and minerals that are already in its active form. In addition, these ideal testosterone boosting foods may contain peptides or growth factors that enhance any aspect of testosterone signaling and or conversion pathways. It must also contain testicular protective properties. So think an antioxidant for the testes. And then it must not contain many anti-nutrients. And then finally, we're looking at its ability to support overall metabolic health and think of polyphenols that help enhance circulation. So the very first food to boost testosterone naturally is royal jelly. Now we can see this study here was titled Effect of Royal Jelly Ingestion for Six Months on Healthy Volunteers. And the authors noted that six-month ingestion of royal jelly in humans improved erythropoiesis, glucose tolerance, and mental health. Acceleration of conversion from DHEAS to testosterone by royal jelly may have been observed among these favorable effects. The next food to boost testosterone levels naturally is chicken hearts. Now, chicken hearts are very rich in coenzyme Q10. They're quite high in cholesterol, and they contain many B vitamins, including vitamin B12 and even zinc, which is crucial for fertility, testosterone production, and also suppressing prolactin. So definitely consider adding in chicken hearts into your daily routine. And in my opinion, I love cooking chicken hearts lightly fried in olive oil, um, and that actually tastes incredible with a lot of salt over the top. So definitely consider giving that one a shot. The next food is actually a specific pepper known as grains of paradise, or also known as Aframomum malaguita. So we can see this study here was titled Effects of the Aqueous Extract of Dry Seeds of Aframomum Malaguita on Some Parameters of the Reproductive Function of Mature Male Rats. And the results showed that levels of cholesterol in the testes, alpha glucosidase in epididymis, and fructose in seminal vesicle increased by 93.34%, 83.44%, and 62.78% respectively after 55 days of treatment. So many men who have actually started using this particular pepper have noticed an improvement in testicular functioning and also an improvement in sexual performance. The next food to maximize testosterone production is actually honey. Now honey has been used for thousands of years and honey does indeed contain some very beneficial properties that can support overall metabolism and also body composition. Now, we can see that honey contains flavonoids, compounds like chrysin and quercetin, which help with star gene expression and also inhibiting aromatase activity. So that's the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. And then honey does have the ability to help stimulate the production of luteinizing hormone, and luteinizing hormone has a direct effect on increasing testosterone. So honey is a very versatile superfood in my opinion, and it's definitely a great carbohydrate source to help to suppress sex hormone binding globulin, otherwise known as SHBG, which actually has the ability to increase free testosterone. So definitely consider adding in raw honey, organic raw honey into your regime. And obviously, it's a, a delicious sweetener. So if you're going to be cooking any foods where you need some sort of sweetener, you can add in honey. And also recently, I've actually been experimenting with adding honey to bacon and other meats. And it absolutely tastes incredible. Guys, listen up. I'm sure you're aware of the importance of personalization when it comes to optimizing your health. That is why I'm offering a free 15-minute Boost Your Biology Strategy Session with a senior member of my team where we'll chart out a personalized plan for success 
so that you stop guessing when it comes to different supplements, diets, training, and lifestyle strategies. So be sure to check that link out in the video description down below. The next food to maximize and boost testosterone naturally is actually consuming whole eggs, not just the egg whites. It's more beneficial to consume the egg as a whole itself, including the yolk. And we can see this is justified by this particular study titled Whole Egg vs. Egg White Ingestion During 12 Weeks of Resistance Training in Trained Young Males, a Randomized Controlled Trial. And what they noted was post-exercise whole egg ingestion increases knee extension and hand grip strength, testosterone, and reduces body fat percentage compared with post-exercise egg white ingestion, despite no differences in muscle mass in resistance trained young males. Whole eggs consumption may be preferable during resistance training programs geared towards the improvement of muscular strength and body fat percentage. So that's another food to consider increasing or starting with is consuming whole eggs, make sure they're pasteurized. And I'm sure many of you who are already watching this video do consume eggs on a semi-frequent basis. The next food to maximize and optimize testosterone levels is actually oysters. Now, oysters are a powerhouse of nutrients that will help with growth development and testosterone production. Now, eating a can of oysters roughly twice a week should give you all of those hard to get minerals. Minerals such as selenium, zinc, these promote proper growth and growth is hampered when these particular minerals are low. So zinc, selenium, and iodine, also abundant in shellfish, are also essential for thyroid production. So assisting with the conversion of T4 into T3, the most active thyroid hormone. And these thyroid hormones are extremely important for proper development and also production of the even stronger hormone DHT. So increasing the conversion of T4 into T3 can actually help to boost levels of dihydrotestosterone, which is three to 10 times more potent than testosterone itself. The next food to increase testosterone is actually onions. Now onions, I personally like to cook my onions in lightly fried again in either coconut oil, um, butter, grass-fed butter. And so we can see that onions do possess constituents that help to increase luteinizing hormone. They possess antioxidant properties. They can also boost nitric oxide production. They can decrease free radicals and they can also decrease insulin resistance. And these all have a supportive effect on testosterone production in the human body. So definitely consider adding in onions into your vegetable arsenal, so to speak. I mean, I personally tend to rotate between onions, uh, carrots, and also some white button mushrooms to lower estrogen. So definitely consider adding in onions to your regime. Food number eight is pomegranate. Now, pomegranate does have many benefits for the human body beyond just improving circulation, beyond just lowering cortisol. Pomegranate juice may have a potent effect on increasing testosterone levels in humans. Although this study was conducted in male rats, it was titled, Effects of pomegranate juice consumption on sperm quality, spermatogenic cell density, antioxidant activity, and testosterone level in male rats. Now, the whole pomegranate itself, including the white part, the rind, does have some very beneficial effects at improving gut health and specifically increasing the growth and abundance of a very beneficial beneficial bacteria known as Akkermansia. Um, pomegranate juice and pomegranate itself consumption will help to support gut health and also having a potent antibacterial effect and potentially helping with reducing SIBO. So um, definitely consider increasing your intake of pomegranates. They taste amazing and they have a plethora of health benefits beyond increasing testosterone. Food number nine is actually ginger. Now ginger does have some pretty impressive research to suggest that it can increase testosterone. Although I personally don't consume ginger because it actually binds to the 5-HT1A receptor and it can actually worsen symptoms of post-SSRI sexual dysfunction or PSSD. And this is a reason why I personally don't like to consume ginger because it actually has a direct lowering effect on my mood, my libido, and it also worsens anhedonia in my case. But we can see in this study, they said, in conclusion, the mainstream research that links ginger to testosterone demonstrated that ginger supplementation Particular in, particularly in oxidative stress conditions, enhances testosterone production in males. Um, it also increases testicular weight. It helps with recycling of uh, testosterone receptors, and it also normalizes blood glucose levels. 
The next food is actually a cooking oil, one that I love, and that is extra virgin olive oil. Now, we can see this study here was titled Effect of Argan and Olive Oil Consumption on the Hormonal P Profile of Androgens Among Healthy Adult Moroccan Men. And what they noted was that differences in androgens and anthropometric parameters between the baseline and after three weeks of the argan oil and extra virgin olive oil groups were analyzed using the Wilcoxon test. Now, testosterone and luteinizing serum concentrations significantly increased after the, after the intervention period. Testosterone levels increased by 19.9% and 17.4% and luteinizing hormone levels increased by 18.5% and 42.6% respectively for argan oil and extra virgin olive oil. So both actually argan oil and olive oil are both beneficial oils to boost testosterone levels in men. Food number 11 is actually a food that I recommend not consuming and that is to stop eating soy protein. There are a number of men out there, a number of vegans, weak looking, scrawny vegan men that actually argue that soy protein is actually not going to have a negative effect on testosterone levels. In my opinion, after working with thousands of men around the world, I personally have come to the conclusion that consuming soy is not beneficial for men. And this study here was titled Clinical and Biological Activity of Soy Protein Powder Supplementation in Healthy Male Volunteers. In conclusion, Soy protein powder decreases serum testosterone levels in healthy men and acts as an estrogen receptor beta agonist. And so this is really important to consider. The fact that soy is highly estrogenic, it should not be consumed by men. It actually feminizes men. And this is the last thing we want in society. We need men that are more masculine, that have traits of authority, power, discipline, confidence, resilience. These are traits that we're trying to promote and soy does not support this at all. And finally, food number 12 is actually to stop under eating. Now, specifically what I'm referring to is severe or strict dieting. And we can see this study here was titled Long-Term Effects of Caloric Restriction on Serum Sex Hormone Concentrations in Men. These findings demonstrate that as, as in long-lived caloric restriction rodents, long-term severe caloric restriction reduces serum total and free testosterone and increases sex hormone binding globulin concentrations in humans independently of adiposity. So this is a really big message for those who go on a, let's say 1200 calorie diet or a 1400 calorie diet, and they stay on this particular diet to lower their body fat percentage. And, you know, let's say they've been on that diet for, let's say eight to 12 weeks, you know, during that period of time, testosterone levels will have decreased. And we see this time and time again with bodybuilders and those that compete when they diet down for competition, their natural testosterone levels take a massive hit. So please do not under eat. And if you need help determining how many calories you should be aiming for, check out Chronometer. That's a free website where you can input your activity levels and learn about roughly how many calories you should be consuming per day and things of that nature. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you learned something new, please like the video, drop a comment down below to please support the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.